Hi guys, uh, welcome to this wonderful screencast. Um, in this screencast, we'll be talking about testing. Okay, we'll be writing tests for the route we've created, the own route, the in, the and the user route. Um, so far, in our application, the last thing we did was we uh, wrote some validations for the user controller. And like I said in the last screencast. Today, I will be talking about testing and uh, writing nice tests for your route. Uh, maybe you realize now this um, JavaScript has really advanced into a stage whereby we need to write tests for our applications. It's becoming very, very important, and I believe it's a good skill to have. So, without much ceremony, I'll go straight up and explain how this is going to work to you. So, um, as you can see, we have our application running at port 7000. And, and so far, we have only just one environment for our application, which is here in the config file, which is the development environment. So, right now, we will be creating a test environment for our application, whereby our test shall be run. So the first thing I would like to do uh, to help us with that will be to install some packages that will help in writing our test. So the first one I'm going to install is called SuperTest. And I will install SuperTest. I will be installing some specific packages of SuperTest and Jest. Yeah, we'll be using support test and just together. So I'll go ahead and install just first the support test. So of course we have the yarn and like I said, I'll be installing a particular package or version you like to see. So the version will be 22.4.2 no point three actually. Okay, that should go. Uh, while waiting for that to install, I will go ahead and in my root, I will create a folder called test. Then inside that folder, uh, the first test I would like us to run will be the home, the home route here. We we'll run a test, testing this home route. If you remember, if you go to this route, look at host port 7000 slash, we're going to eat, we're going to see this message on that route. So right now we're going to write the test to test this particular route we've built. So I'll go ahead and create the test file for that, which will be home the test dot gs. That's what we'll be calling it. So while we wait for our package to install, well, it seems as if I'm having some network issue. I believe that will resolve itself. Um, well. Okay. Okay. Um. Another thing I would like to point out while waiting for this to finish, another thing I would like to point out is that um, since you will be developing a new environment file or a new environment rather for your application, you have to go ahead and create a database for this environment. So what I did in my own local in my on my own application right here is to create a database called, which I called restful.test. I will show you right here. There's it restful dot restful API dot test. Restful API test rather. Pardon me. Um, so that's the database I created here on Postgres to write my test. And the next thing you have to do once you created a database is inside your EMV files which were which your each your application reads you would create the access or the login to that particular database here so just like we did with um we develop with the development environment we can do the same thing for testing so your format can go something like this test db url you remember very well this test this um, environment name or this variable name, whatever it is you want to call it, will be the one we refer to inside our config JS. So, like we have the DB URL, what we have here on our EMV will be.
be the access link to that particular database so you can just do the same thing um, in your own emv file so this will be database test database name to be different so test database name. so just go ahead and do that i've already done that on my own from my own site so you should go ahead and do that so the next thing i want to install will be super test of course you can install just so um yarn sorry add super test like i said i'll be installing a particular version so uh, it should be dependency anyways well depends on you do i like it to be a dependency on the big dev dependency rather so while waiting for that to install uh we can go ahead and start writing our text so if we come into our own test.js file oh before we do that before we do that let us jump the gun before we do that i would like us to go to our package adjacent file and write some nice scripts to run our test file so the first thing we want to do is of course use this just And this will take the test environment, which will be node. Yeah, you can actually check the just just package online. You, there's a lot more to learn about just really. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful test tool. You should really master. So the next thing I want to do, I want to do is um, create a script. The first script I want to create is to a script that will set the node environment from develop to test. So set node, we call it set node emv, which will be set set, which will run the script or this command. Test. So we set it to test. Then of course. Our test script itself will be here on this first script here. Okay. Uh, once I'm done running that, I want to run just apples. Silent. Okay, I think that is okay. My test. Okay, I'm still having some network issues. Uh, hopefully, it will resolve itself as soon as possible. So, um, once that is done, we've written our test script. Now, let's go and write our test. So, in this home.test.js, the first thing I will do, of course, will be to import my spa test, which unfortunately is still hasn't downloaded yet so go ahead and just import it okay then of course import app the whole application itself um, yeah and set a constant call request which will be super test which I'll be gotten from super test itself super test dot agent agent to be app so uh, okay so um right now I'll just run quickly I'll write the test and I'll explain what I've written so far. Uh, I think that will help you understand what I'm doing a lot better. So I'll just go ahead and write it, then I'll explain what I'm done.
back. Yes, now in my config file, I forgot to include my test environment, which I should have done. Hold on, over, sir. Okay, so the test environment will go like this, of course, and the URL will be the will be tests db URL, just like we have in our environment file, test db URL. Okay, so okay, uh, let's run our test now. So now we are ready. Um, let me enlarge first so you can see the test. We are run test. Remember, we are running the script test from our package.json file. This line here. This is the script you are running. So once we run that, we see passed, one, pa one test is passed, test passed. And this test is for the home routes. Just like we have right here. So um, let me go back and explore what I did. So uh, how the test work is that you write some bunch of codes, of course, and explain or test or tell the test to run according to some parameters you've set. So the first line here is just describing what kind of test we run. So this is for the home route. This is for the home right. And the second describe here is just specific is more be specific is more is specific about which kind of test we are running in the home route. So we are just testing the home route, which is a restful API. And you go back to our server.js. No, sorry, my app.js rather. We have this base restful API and which goes with this home router. So if you go back to home test, uh, the parameter is that it should be success. It should successfully access the home endpoint when we try and get this endpoint right here. Uh, we should expect the 200 the OK status, and we should expect our status or our, our response to have a message, and the message should be welcome to this RESTful API using Express and Postgres which is the message we are sending here so okay now let you, you want to see if this test is working now let's just remove him. this s and try and rerun our test should fail yeah see um, expect the value this but received this okay so this is the value we are passing postgres without the s right here postgres without the s but this is what we are receiving postgres with the s so simple so uh we've just written our first test ever so um the next thing i'll do is of course write some tests for the user routes which will be the test for a register, a, um, a delete, a get all user, a get one user, updates, and everything. So, um, writing test is pretty easy. You just have to understand the rules. Uh, you can actually check more from the JEST website. There's a lot of things you can, a lot of ways you can write your test. And if you want to learn more about writing tests, you can actually check my repo on GitHub. I will, have, I will make sure I complete all the tests I have to write concerning the uh, user route. You can check how I've written it. It's very, very self-explanatory. So you shouldn't have any problem understanding what I did. That's the good thing about writing a test. It's very, very straightforward and very, very easy to understand. So all you have to do is set your get, your expect, and everything, and everything works the way it should work. So um, that's the short tutorial I want to show you on writing tests. It's quite easy. It's quite simple. You just have to, of course, know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, if I might say, if I might add, add that. Okay. Now that being done, um, this will be the end of this session. In the next session, uh, we'll talk about authenticating our user. So we have a fully functional login uh, register page. So uh, we'll talk about uh, that means I will be building a new route 
and a new controller for the login and the logout. So we will build some controllers on that and of course authenticate our users by giving them rights, maybe admin rights and special admin rights, all those things. So that's pretty much what we'll be covering in this session. I sincerely hope you will be there to join me. Thank you for your time today and have a wonderful day. Bye.